Whoever can win the most championships in the 90s will be crowned the undisputed GOAT. We'll make the tiebreaker MVPs in case we need it. Let's see how this first season goes. All right, well, MJ MVP. He might need that for a potential tiebreaker, both that I'm making first team. And the Lakers and the Bulls are both the first seed. LeBron dropping a cool 26, 8, and 10. LeBron's got Golden State in the first round. And MJ's got to play a tough Detroit team. Well, LeBron went ahead and got the sweep. And MJ actually lost in the first round. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty sad. MJ with 10 points. Now LeBron's got to play the Supersonics. And LeBron will be going to the conference finals. Now they got to play an upcoming Utah team, John Stockton and Malone. LeBron's one game away from reaching the finals. Stockton going to get the ball to Malone. Malone going to try to post up here on, I don't, I think that's worthy. And that's a weird shot by Malone. LeBron James with the ball on the left wing. He's trying to size up, drive to the basket, doing a little step back action, getting into the lane. Layup is good. The Jazz are going to go to their bread and butter, posting up Malone yet again. He's big body and with the hook. Oh, he hits the side of the backboard. Paul George 2.0. Three seconds left. Teagle's got to do something. He drives it with the layup. And he gets it to go. The Lakers took LeBron James out of the game so he wouldn't have to shoot free throws. Going back to the same bread and butter again for a possible final possession here. Great defense. Malone steps out of bounds. And LeBron will be going to the NBA Finals drop in 34 and 10. They got to play the Atlanta Hawks, Dominique Wilkins, and Kevin Willis. Just got to hold on here on LeBron James as an NBA champion. But he might have found out here. He is not in the game. And wow, how do you lose the ball like that? Mo Cheeks bringing the ball. Going to try to drive here. Mo Cheeks Diving it up to Graham. Graham with the pump. They got it to go. Three-point game. Byron Scott's got to save the day. Dimes at the Worthy. Gets the dunk. And they're still up five. The Hawks with one last chance to try to win this thing. That's an awful shot. And that is going to do it. And LeBron James gets his first NBA championship in the 90s. Which means now MJ's going to have to respond. We'll see what happens. All right, well, season number two, not much has changed for the Lakers. And the Bulls are the exact same as well. Well, MJ's going to keep stacking up these MVPs. And the Lakers and Bulls still both the first seed. With LeBron dropping 29, 9, and 10. LeBron's got to play the Clippers, and MJ's got to play the Heat. And the Lakers are about to get a sweep here, and they do. And the Bulls also got a sweep. Now the Lakers got to play Clyde and the Blazers, and MJ's got to play that tough Pistons team again. LeBron and the Lakers make a 3-1 comeback to take down the Blazers. LeBron dropping 46, 9, and 8. What else do we expect from LeBron in Game 7? And MJ will do the same exact thing winning in Game 7. Although Scotty definitely outshined MJ here in this Game 7. The Lakers got Tim Hardaway and the Warriors here in the Conference Finals, and the Bulls have an underwhelming Bullets team. And LeBron James is going to the Finals finals in six game and michael jordan will also be making a finals appearance and now we have the matchup you were hoping to see when you clicked on this video let's get it lebron and the lakers are fighting to stay alive the lakers are down three to two right now so they're gonna need to win this game and the next one to win the championship lebron has the ball again trying to drive on scotty pippen he gets right by lays it up and in lakers with a one point lead mj gets the screen again gonna do a step back pump fake got nothing to go gets double team kicks it out to bj armstrong he misses the three rebound chicago gets it back out posts it oh a terrible pass by BJ. LeBron with the ball again. Kicks it out. The Byron Scott posts up. Sam Perkins. Sam Perkins with the mismatch going to work right now. Got all the time in the world. Gets the hook to go. Three point lead. MJ trying to drive here. Gets the edge. Holy shit. What the hell? MJ sizes it up. Pulls up for three. Misses it. Rebound, Lakers. We will have a game seven. And LeBron didn't even play that crazy. They just got more of a team contribution, and they just blew it there in the last two minutes. And MJ and the Bulls were still able to hang on in game seven and get themselves a championship. LeBron James folding under pressure, getting six fouls in 23 minutes, scoring 10 points. MJ now has the lead with those MVP tiebreakers, but both each have a championship. We'll see if LeBron can bounce back from that dreadful game seven in the finals. And LeBron James is going to take an MVP. And both the Lakers and the Bulls are the first seed. We saw it with LeBron average, but MJ having a pretty good year himself too. The Lakers got Denver in the first round, and the Bulls had Patrick Ewing in the Knicks. But the Lakers are about to sweep right here. There we go. And the Bulls swept the Knicks as well. Now LeBron's got to play a solid Suns team, and MJ's got to play that tough heat culture. Well, that'll be a sweep for LeBron and the Lakers. And MJ is going to lose in six to this gritty heat culture Miami Heat team. Scottie Pippen dropping 40, and MJ dropping 24 just wasn't enough. So now LeBron should have himself an easy road to another champion. He's going to go ahead and sweep Utah here. He has not lost a playoff game yet. Now LeBron's got to beat the same team that MJ lost to. And he's got a chance to do it here in game six. LeBron going to use the screen here. Going to try. What? He shot that. We are in the 90s, sir. Pierce going to post up right here with the post fade. Got it. Tie game. Six seconds left. This is to win the NBA championship. LeBron getting double kicks it out to Byron Scott. And he knocks it down with 0.9 left. The Heat have no timeouts. Going to chuck a full court heave. And LeBron James making the right play.
play to win the NBA championship. There's not a better way to secure your second NBA championship than a game winner in the NBA Finals. LeBron had himself a big game, 44-6-7. and seven. So now LeBron is taking the lead, and this is season number four. Both teams have not made any real big changes. Let's see what happens. And LeBron's going to get himself another MVP. And the Bulls are not the first seed. They're now the second seed. And if you were wondering if the Lakers are the first seed, well, there you go. Just going to have the greatest record in NBA history. LeBron's got the Jazz in the first round. That's a tough team. And MJ's got to play the Pacers. And LeBron's going to go ahead and win in four. And Michael Jordan's going to barely squeak by here in five games. Now LeBron's got to go up against Clyde Drexler. And MJ's got to face an underwhelming Hornets team. LeBron's going to take care of him in five. And MJ is very close of losing in the second round. Scottie Pippen diamond up the king and he gets it to go. Three point game. How will they stop Muggsy Bowes? Muggsy get a diamond up to Larry Johnson and he throws it down. MJ's going to have to respond here. Not much going for him. Doing a lot of in and out dribbles. Fade away from the mid range and he got it. MJ going to kick it out the beach. Armstrong doesn't shoot the three. Hesitates for some reason. Still gets it to go. It's a two point game. MJ going to post type here. Going to pull it from mid range and he missed it and that is going to be game. MJ's having some really bad playoff moments outside of the finals appearance. LeBron's got to play Denver in the conference finals and it looks like that's going to go ahead and be a sweep and now LeBron's got to play the same team that MJ lost to and LeBron's going to win the NBA championship in five games. LeBron with 35, 10, and 6. Great game. We've got five seasons left and LeBron already has a two championship lead on MJ. We'll see if MJ will be able to respond and now Worthy's on the Bulls. What the hell happened here? LeBron's now putting up Luka numbers to win these MVPs. The Lakers and the Bulls are both the first seed and now LeBron is taking the lead for the tiebreaker 3-2. to two. But LeBron James is going to get swept here by the Clippers in the first round. I mean, you really can't ask for much else from LeBron. I mean, the eight turnovers is a lot, but still, he played pretty good. And MJ got the sweep on the bullets. Jordan's got to take advantage of this opportunity and win the championship this year. And Jordan's going to take care of business here in the second round. Worthy being a big help to MJ. Maybe Worthy's been the key to all of this. The Bulls are going to get the sweep here and make their way to the NBA Finals for the second time. And they have to play this whack-ass Clippers team that swept LeBron. And MJ swept the Clippers, the same team that swept LeBron. That is insane. Which means we only have four seasons left and MJ's only down one championship. But MJ should try to get another MVP to try to tiebreak with LeBron because LeBron's got one more than him. Well, LeBron's making sure he wins that tiebreaker. And the Lakers and Bulls are both the first seed, but the Lakers got to play the Clippers again. MJ dropping a solid 32-5-8. Well, at least the Lakers got past the first round. And MJ and the Bulls are going to lose in five to the Knicks. Why are LeBron and MJ just underperforming in the first round of the playoffs? Now LeBron's got to play the Kings, who were not that good. And he's going to go ahead and get a sweep there. Now we got a pretty average Minnesota team in the conference finals. And LeBron will be making his way back to the finals, winning this in seven games. And now we have a lakers bucks finals going up against Jason Kidd. Well, Jason, you put up a good fight, but it looks like you're getting swept. The LeBron finals MVP dropping 40, 11, and 10. Well, MJ is in big trouble. We only have three seasons left, and MJ's going to have to win the championship every single year. Well, MJ's out of the run for getting a tiebreaker. And the Lakers are the first seed. Meanwhile, the Bulls are the third seed. MJ having himself a okay year. It was solid. But again, if MJ doesn't win the championship here, this video's over. LeBron's getting out of the first round in four games. And MJ's going to barely escape the Hawks here in five games. Now MJ's got to play the Celtics with Scottie Pippen. And LeBron's got to play the Kings. But there's no pressure on LeBron to do anything. Well, LeBron got the sweep in four games. And MJ's going to win in six here against the Celtics. We got LeBron playing the Timberwolves in the conference finals. And MJ's got to play an underwhelming Bucks team, but they have Jason Kidd. And MJ's going to get the sweep here. Wow. And LeBron will also be in the finals. Dropping 43, 9, and 7 to get there. Well, this could be it for MJ. Let's see what happens. Well, this is pretty anticlimactic. I even tried to give MJ a Simcast game on the final one, and they still got blown out. LeBron with 34, 11, and 11, putting the nail in the coffin on this one. Well, in conclusion, LeBron's better. Goodbye.